And it is going Kaleva. Old Songs, New Opportunities trains resettled refugees to work in early childhood centers and to use their traditional children's songs on the job. Old Songs, New Opportunities also trains American teachers to use these wonderful songs in a multitude of ways. Kaleva, jump on Tanara. Kaleva, choo, 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 Kaleva. Tomorrow, 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 we'll go to kindergarten. When tomorrow, 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 we'll go to kindergarten. Simba la 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 la, Simba la 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 la, Simba la la, Simba la la, Simba Simba Simbo. We use songs every day as part of our daily routine. I think that it's the best way to learn, honestly. They <laughs> will learn so much easier when we have them sing. Um, working with the program, we have been able to learn different songs and languages that we never would have been able to before. Hola, Miss Now, for the past few weeks, we've been talking about a special song called Mr. Froggy, and we've been singing it in Spanish and English. Now, we live in North America, in the United States of America, and what language do we speak? English. And if we go all the way down to Mexico, Spanish. they speak Spanish. Obviously, people aren't going to go and study different languages and know five different languages, but they can easily learn a song in five different languages. So it's been a way for us to incorporate cultures and music and multiculturalism in our classroom. I think it was really important in the way I look at diversity in my classroom. At our center, the long-term impact has been um, just ingraining a love of music and cultures and using that as a basis for language. Open your mouth, ha, ha, ha. The more they're exposed to different languages and different ways of communicating, the better they are able to communicate their feelings without, you know, walking up and hitting someone. The more they learn, the better. The kids enjoy it so much. They like the different languages and the different motions that get to come with it. I think the most exciting part is when we see children and staff get excited. I think when they learn a song and they are proud that they said something in a different language. Do you remember how, how we say hello in Swahili? Jumbo. Say jumbo. Instead, wave. Say jumbo. 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 Twenty to go and play. Um, the kids love it. I mean, even when we're not asking them to sing it, they're singing it, and all the parents are coming to us, and you know, they're so impressed. The kids are singing these songs, and all of the staff love it too. We've used them for transitions from like cleanup time. It helps, like if you have a child that's not really cleaning up, you might start using one of the songs and adding uh, children's names into them and so that they want to get over the carpet or they want to be doing something so then their name gets added to it so then they can you know, be part of a song. Now, open your mouth, Brayden, ha, ha, ha. Uh -huh. Oh, Brayden, that's awesome. Say Brayden. Oh, give me five. Awesome! What a toddler wants most is to be noticed, especially in a large group. So this gave them an opportunity to use their name. Is he sitting? I don't know. Open your mouth, Liam. Ha, ha, ha. Liam, ha, ha, ha. They're clapping hands. They're moving around. They stand up. They're, um, they just feel um, so important when they get to, to um, participate this way. We're gonna wave goodbye. Right now, right now, right now. We're gonna wave goodbye. Goodbye. Now, then, now, jump. Now, down, we go. Jump. Ain't not easy. Ain't not easy. Yo, Layla, yo, Layla. Yo, Layla, yo, Layla. Yo, Layla, yo, Layla. better than giving a directive and standing there waiting for them to listen. If we sing the directive, they'll follow. And fit da til ward and sit da til ward and sit da til ward and sit da til ward and ya ward and ya ward 
they're also tools that we can use in reducing chaos and feeling, you know, feeling the screaming with something a little more productive. <laughs> It's a good thing. The kids are more attentive. They pay attention. They follow directions that are given to them. Kids love music. It's long the short of it. Pepe, 